Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So I'm back with another video for you guys, and this is going to be another subscription box, but this is one that I actually just went and got myself because I see a lot of YouTubers talk about this company, and I've seen some commercials, and I've been interested in this for a minute. So I went and signed up three times for the subscription box just to see if I would get different teas and this is a tea subscription box that I'm going to be talking about and it's going to be the company Sips By. Now I'm pretty sure many of you have heard about it. I've heard about it from booktubers, Christian YouTubers, beauty YouTubers. I've seen commercials on YouTube and I'm just watching videos and things like that. So I decided to go ahead and sign up. Um, one of the publishing companies that I follow were having a giveaway. They were um, sort of combining and collaborating with Tips By where they were going to give away 12 books and 12 free boxes of tea. So I signed up to join the giveaway. Um, I didn't win as a winner, but apparently everyone who signed up got a code to get their first box, I believe, for $5 or free. It was either five dollars. No, it was actually free. Everybody got their first box for free because they sent the code out to anyone who signed up for the giveaway. And I did enter into the giveaway three times with three different emails. So I got a code three times and I decided to sign up three times to Sips by using those codes to see if they would give me different teas in each box. Because what Sips by is, is a tea subscription service box in which you pay $15 a month for four different types of teas, which will give you up to 15 cups of tea. If I'm not mistaken, let me just run that by the website. Yes. So you get four teas chosen for you based on your uni unique preferences. And those four different teas will give you about 15 plus cups of tea. And you're paying $15 a month, which is good. So the box will do, do you good for about a month, which I think is epic. And I'm a tea drinker. I've been a tea drinker for a long time. I recently just got back into coffee this year. Um, coffee for me was more of a freshman year type of drink in college. I would drink it a lot because I was up partying and doing papers and all that. Um, and then when I stopped going to my first university, I just stopped and got into drinking teas. And then maybe two or three years ago, I started drinking more teas, celestial seasonings. And then I found out about Tivana and David C and all that stuff. So I love me some tea. Tea is my life. Tea is it's everything. But I decided to try it out for myself because... A lot of the times when you see these people get products for free, um, they review them, but I don't always think that they're 100%. And I don't know if you guys ever felt that way with my videos, but I know when I'm watching certain YouTubers review certain things, I'm like, are they really telling the truth? Or are they not? So I decided to sign up. Um, this is, like I said, it wasn't sent to me, but I didn't pay for it because I had a coupon to sign up for free. So yes, I signed up three times and I used three different names. So I use my legal name, which is Shanae. For those of you who don't know, my legal name is Shanae. Um, I use my nickname, which is Nay, and then I used my son's name. Sorry, son. Um, but I did use his name to um, get a box. So I have all three boxes here. Sips by. And um, I haven't opened them. I did already cut them open so it would be easy just to open. But basically what you do, as with any subscription service, um, you fill out a survey and they ask you different questions like what kind of teas you prefer, if you like loose leaf teas or bag teas, if you are a tea connoisseur or if you're just brand new to tea, the type of teas you like, if you like black tea, white tea, green tea, um, turmeric, oolong, berry, spiced, earthy, um, you know, woodsy, floral, citrusy, they ask you different types of questions just to try to see how they want to put the teas in your box, which I think is epic. I'm here for it. Um, so I signed up one box. I specifically said I wanted straight tea bags. Another box, I said I wanted straight tea leaves. And then the third box, I said I wanted a mix of both. So I don't know which ones are which because I don't remember honest I, I don't remember how i filled out the form for each of these boxes so this is specifically curated which i'm interested to see how they did and giving me different teas in each box to see how it works so we're gonna start with the first box that is here um so first off i like the box it's simple it's cute um it's brown and black it says sips by with hearts and tea leaves which i am totally here for that you open the box and okay it looks like that on the top so it has this thing that says tea sip together um with a 15 dollar gift card code on it 
um, and you'll get one month free of tea. So I'm guessing I have three of these, which is epic. If I will see, maybe I'll sign up for a January tea box and see. Um, and then this card just, just talks about that. So we have that. That's cool. All right, so moving those to the side. So you always get this little card that says the month and the teas, the website, as well as the um, hashtag. And then you have the little tea and heart symbols, which is so cute. So on the back, it has your name printed. So like I said, this one has my legal name, but it's going to say Shane. Um, so it says made for Shanae. My name is spelled Shane with an accent over the E, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to use the accent with the E with the accent on a computer. So, yeah, I'm going to need people to learn how to do that because my name is not Shane. Even when I go to the doctor, they'd be like, Shane, I'd be like, no, ma'am, it's Shanae. Do people ever mispronounce your names, you guys? Like, it irritates me because my name is not a boy's name. I'm a, I'm a female. <sighs> That's just me. That was a little rant. But, um, okay, so they have all the T's listed on here. Um, that is cool. So let's dive in. So this one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So this is how it looks. That's interesting. Um, so let's just dive in. So the first thing I see here are these. This is blueberry acai. Um, that is the flavor there. It's in this little baggie. These are from the company Tea Drops. So. Um, I can't smell anything. I wish I could. But they look like this. They're little heart shaped. And I guess you just drop it in tea. So inside there are how many? Let's count. There are three in here. Okay. So there are three heart shaped tea drops in here in the flavor blueberry acai so i'm gonna read what the card says so it says one drop per eight to twelve ounces of water and the flavor or not the flavors the ingredients excuse me are going to be organic white peony tea organic wild blueberry powder organic acai powder and organic cane sugar or raw cane sugar this is low caffeine and let me hold it up for you guys but it says this breezy and light but vibrant and fun tea is great is great hot or iced Tea drops allow you to experience the flavor and benefits of loose leaf tea without the waste or mess of steeping. And then there's a 15% off code, and it also gives me the Instagram for the tea company. So that's interesting. I've never seen anything like this, so I'm interested to see how that works. Um, next, we have this Earl Grey tea um, from Ahmad Tea Company. Earl Grey. And we have four tea bags of that. Is this a tea bag? Yes, this is a tea bag. So these are tea bags. Um, so this is I'm gonna hold up one for you guys so here you guys can see. Um, so Ahmad Tea is a British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. Enjoy this posh best selling blend. They give me a 20% off code. This one is high caffeine and it's good for eight ounces of water. And this one includes black tea and bergamot. Now, I have a love hate relationship with bergamot, Earl Grey tea. Because a lot of times, some companies make the bergamot really, really strong. I prefer the Twinings because it's delicious. Um, and their bergamot Earl, their Earl Grey tea is not super strong. And I love their regular Earl Grey as well as their Earl Grey lavender, which just has black tea, bergamot, and lavender. And it's not super strong. I tried another tea company. Um, I can't remember what name it was. But I tried another one and their Earl Grey was just I, I couldn't deal with it because the scent of the bergamot was super strong the taste of the bergamot was strong so i'm hoping this one isn't bad um we'll see but earl gray tea i have four tea bags of that next we have this honey bush caramel herbal tea from revolution we have four packets so that's interesting um yeah and okay so here's what that looks like and i'm going to read it it is caffeine free this is from Revolution Tea. You use one sachet per eight ounces of water. This one has rooibos. I love rooibos. Oh my god, rooibos tea is amazing. Rooibos is a African 
um, red tea and it is so delicious so on here it says honey bush caramel is a sweet conclusion to any meal south african rooibos provides more antioxidants than green tea and gives the blend soothing properties so this has rooibos honey bush safflowers marigold flowers and caramel flavors so i'm interested to see if this is going to be a nice dessert tea um in a dessert tea if you guys don't know is a tea that is more sweet that you can have as like a dessert after um you eat your meals so yeah this one is antioxidant rich and it's full leaf flavor so i'm interested and i can't wait to dive into this okay all right so far so good and the last one i see in here is going to be from Asheville tea this is also for set for sachets um or four packets this is in jasmine gold which has jasmine green tea jasmine flower and chrysanthemum flower and that's how it looks so this one is medium caffeine and is one bag per eight ounce of water. So it's jasmine scented green tea is combined with whole jasmine flowers and locally grown chrysanthemum. I think that's how you say that word flowers. It's floral delight to uplift your spirits any time of any day. So that sounds interesting. And I really love jasmine um, green tea. That's probably like the only green tea I will drink because I love the flavor. There's one from Lipton. Uh, it's called the Orange Blossom Jasmine green tea that is epic that is like my favorite green tea i haven't found one to top it yet and i think it's because it has that orange blossom in there so good but we have that so so far i like this i don't know if this is the box where i said straight tea bags but it looks to be the the one i said where i just wanted tea bags so so far i'm impressed okay so that's the first one and what i'm gonna do is keep out the card to see if it matches any of the other teas so moving on to the second box this one is the one where i use my nickname which is nay so again we have those cards that i can get another month free or whatever same sort of thing that says december teas but this one says made for nay and this one the teas do not match any of the teas on this which is great so okay so this one i'm assuming is the one that has um a mix of loose leaf and green tea i mean loose leaf and back tea because this one comes with the reusable muslin cloth tea bags um inside so when you order from this company and you choose loose leaf tea they will give you the little reusable and disposable um tea bags for you to use which i've seen a lot of people talk about and um here they go they're super cute um, and they also had the little sips by symbol on the tags. That's cute. So how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tea bags. So that's cool. Okay. So I'm going to keep those in here. I normally will probably not use this. Um, I, I do have some teacups that have um, the infusers. So that is good that they have this though for like when you're traveling out. That's great. So, um, let's just grab. So, this one here has, um, like I said, the tea bags and loose leaf tea. I don't know why that's bothering my ear. This one is also from Ahmad Tea, but it's different. This one is the Rose Hip Hibiscus and Cherry Fruit and Herbal Tea. So, this is caffeine free. You use one bag per eight ounce of water. And um, it has Rose Hip Peel, Hibiscus Flower, Cherry Pieces, and Natural Cherry Flavorings. So that's awesome. And I'm not going to read what it says because it says the same thing about the Ahmad Tea Company. So we have that. All right, all right. Um, next, we have this cranberry orange black tea um, from the Republic of Teas, which I do know about this company. And I've wanted to try out their teas for a long time. I've gone on their website to try out, but I just haven't purchased. And I like their teas because their tea bags are round. That's weird, probably. But most tea bags are like square shaped or um, triangular this one is round so i thought that was cool this one is high caffeine um it has what's what's in here it doesn't say oh here we go so it has black tea cranberry flavor orange pills blood orange flavor and cranberry bits in it okay so this tart sweet fruitful blend of cranberries black tea and orange pills is delicious either hot or iced um one bag and eight ounces of water so we're definitely going to try this out um, most likely hot. I don't really care for black tea. Unless it's like Earl Grey or Lady Grey or something along those lines. So, we're gonna see if this is good. It should be delicious though. I love blood oranges. So, we'll see. We have that. Um, okay. And then we're gonna get into the loose leaf tea. So, the first one is low caffeine. Oh, actually, they're both low caffeine. Okay. But this one is from David's Tea, which we all know about David's Tea. 
So we have that. This one is the maple syrup oolong. You use one teaspoon per eight ounces of water. This one has apple pieces, oolong tea, candy papaya, raisins, buckwheat, roasted chicory root, maple sugar, stevia extract, and other flavorings. And this sweet and satisfying oolong tea is dripping with rich amber maple syrup. Whether you sip it straight or as a frothy latte, your brunch will never be the same again. So I'm here for it. I will probably make this into a latte. We gonna see. Um, but yeah, I'm most likely going to try this with milk. So I'm going to use either some French vanilla or cold sink, cold, the Cold Stone Sweet Cream Creamer with this. But um, yeah, it's a nice packet. So use one table, one teaspoon, excuse me, one teaspoon of this. Or it says one perfect spoon. I do have a um, perfect spoon from Tivana that I'm going to use to make this. So we definitely want to try this out. We have that. Okay. All right, that's good, that's good. And then the last one is the tea kitten, which I think the name is so cute. Um, but this is green tea. It's called Pink Citrus Magic, and it says four servings. Um, you also do one teaspoon of this. And um, here's what that looks like. So, yeah, this packaging is everything. So in here, you have green tea, apple, purple dragon fruit. Okay, I've never heard of purple dragon fruit before. Um, lemongrass, blue butterfly pea blossoms, pomelo, lemon peel, watermelon, and other flavoring. So on the back of the packaging, it says this fruity, citrusy green tea blend channels your inner sorceress with a magical ingredient that turns this brew into a playful pink delight. Make sure to get a bright blue flower in each brew. If the first steep is blue, add a drop of lemon and watch for the enchanting purple hue. That is fun. I love teas that are like fun to drink and make it really interactive. So, um, this is low caffeine green tea. So, I love this. Okay, so we have two packs of tea that are going to be loosely from David's Tea and Tea Kitten, which I'm here for. This one I'm going to try as a latte with some milk added. And then this one is green tea. That is epic. Um, we then have the cranberry blood orange. I'm here for it. And then we have the rose hip hibiscus and cherry, which I'm here for. So, that's that box all right so i'm assuming the last box should be strictly um loose leaf teas so keeping this out here's that last box i'm not going to show you guys because it well we're not there we go um so again we have the free box coupon and this one like i said is going to be in my son's name so made for christian um and let's see so i see that this blueberry acai is repeated again so this one came in the first box I got for myself. So it's the blueberry acai. Um, and there are three in here. So hopefully I like this. We'll see. I'm going to try it out. It's a blueberry drop. Um, and again, if you guys want to remember what this is, it is organic white peony tea, wild blueberry powder, acai powder, and raw cane sugar. And this breezy and light but vibrant and fun tea is great hot or iced. Tea drops allow you to experience the flavor and benefits of loose leaf tea without the waste or mess of steeping. And it's just one drop into your water. So we got that again, which is perfectly fine. Um, again, you have those reusable muslin cloths tea bag excuse me in here that's great we can always use those and yes everything in here is loosely tea so what are we going to start we're going to start off with this this is from rishi it is scented green tea moonlight jasmine tender green tea leaves infused with a lush alluring fragrance of fresh jasmine blossoms and okay you do one and a half tablespoons okay one and a half tablespoons i don't know if that's going to work but it definitely says tablespoon, so yeah. You can re-steep this one, which is interesting, because the other ones don't say re-steep. So this one is re-steepable, so maybe that's why it is a tablespoon. But um, it's organic green tea with jasmine. It says this prize jasmine-scented tea is made from spring harvest tea buds. Imagine sipping this tea in a moonlight evening while jasmine trees bloom and release their aroma. And this one is high caffeine. So like I said, I like green tea with jasmine, so we're going to see how I feel about this. Okay. The next one is um, this one, which is going to be caffeine-free. This is from the Savory Tea Co. and it's homemade apple cider. This one has South African green rooibos, cinnamon pieces, apple pieces, and natural artificial flavoring. So that is that. And this one you use one teaspoon of into your water. Um, this says there's nothing like a delicious sense of warm cinnamon apples filling your home. The aroma embraces you like a cozy sweater. So grab a mug, snuggle up, and bring on the chilly air. 
so i'm interested to see how this tastes this will definitely be good for like one of my nights of reading yes so we're gonna try this i'm not a fan of apple cider like real apple cider I'm not a fan of it so um we'll see how i feel about this too we'll see last thing in here is mm, okay it is mocha chicory by ticino looks like coffee um so it says this is caffeine free and it says lush chocolate meets the essence of coffee from roasted chicory and barley with a hint of sweetness from dates and figs brew like coffee or steep like tea all right so this has roasted organic carob i think that's how you say that carob um barley chicory dates almonds mocha flavor figs and cocoa powder so um it's caffeine free acid free you can brew and serve just like coffee you can add milk with this and sweeteners or you can drink it straight black you can do drip coffee maker with this french press espresso machine or you can make it iced mm -hmm. we'll see i'll probably add some milk in this because i'm not a fan of black tea like i said unless it's earl gray or lady gray um yeah i don't know how about this one we're gonna try it though if it tastes like coffee we're gonna try we're we gonna try it but we have that so that's what's in this box so we have the tea Chini, um mocha chicory we have the homemade apple cider one we have the moonlight jasmine green tea and then the blueberry acai which is white tea so that's cool so i'm impressed i'm excited to try all of these teas out i think the box is great let me just stick everything back in the box but um $15 a month for at least 15 cups worth of tea is pretty good um definitely going to try again like I said I have these coupons I'm gonna use them because we're gonna see how it is for January so I will try it again for the month of January I will have three more boxes um let me just close these up but yeah I'm impressed um so Three boxes of tea I got free because I had the coupon from that publishing house when they had their giveaway. And I'm definitely going to talk to you guys about these teas. I'll probably include them in my reading vlogs because I definitely have reading vlogs coming. I already have maybe three reading vlogs already recorded for you ladies, um, which is crazy. But I have three. But I can't really show them to you guys until February because they're all for February book releases. So I'm sitting on these reviews. Um, they're edited. They're already scheduled up for the month of February. So I can't wait to have those reading vlogs coming to you guys. But I'll definitely talk about these teas and I guess other videos. Um, maybe my next video I'll try out one of these teas. Probably a loose leaf tea. Um, I really want to try out that the, the Tea Kittens um, Pink Magic Citrus one. So maybe we'll do that and I'll drink it in my DOI white mug. So yeah might do that but that is it for this video if you guys have signed up for sips by let me know how your experience has been and if you haven't um then would you ever sign up for sips by i think it's interesting you can definitely just look up sips by on youtube and see all the other unboxings i've heard people give great reviews and great ratings um they have a lot of different tea companies and tea brands i've heard of david's tea is no nothing um new to me but the other companies mentioned in here are new to me so that's interesting i'm interested to see how i feel and um yeah, so I'll come back to you guys in January with another unboxing with three more boxes from them to let you guys know how I feel. And I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the sisterhood. Join the family. I love you ladies. And if you are subscribed, click the button to stay notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.